So this is the Pixel 6a and there are too many questions on it. Like this is the most loved and most hated phone at the same time. Are there issues with fingerprint? Is Pixel 6a overpriced? Pixel 6 is cheaper in India than Pixel 6a. Should I buy the Pixel 6? So hold on, hold on right there. This is Pratik, you're already watching TechWiser and we'll answer all of that. Don't worry. And straight up the box, I mean, it's a slim box, but unboxing a Pixel phone is a different experience. First of all, it's all paper, environment friendly, and this is all done by Flipkart, by the way. All stickers, and they take 29 rupees packaging fees for this. Great. You get the phone, and you get a paper sticker on the phone, and OTG in the box, Type-C to Type-C cable, all in paper, again. No charger, really environment friendly. <laughs> again, some paperwork, in paper, a premium steam ejector tool, and this is by far the smallest box I've ever seen on a phone. And the phone is quite compact, like you have this dual colored look on the back, like I'm a fan of this. And if you look at it side by side against the Pixel 6, it's really small. Even, see, the iPhone 13, it's almost the same size as the iPhone 13. It's quite a compact phone, although this does get a lot of fingerprints. And you get a plastic back, metal frame. Now the bezels are a bit thick, a thicker chin. Overall, the build quality is average considering it's a 44,000 device. Now, the main thing about any Pixel phone is the camera. You get a 12.2 megapixel main sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. Now, it is the same main camera that Google is using since Pixel 3, which was launched in 2018. But how good is it? Well, we are here to test that and Manu sir, please tell the world how good the Pixel 6a is. So, straight up first, Manu looks good. And overall, if you look at his skin tone, color, sharpness, dynamic range, it all looks really good. And this particular photo in portrait mode, it's stunning. And that contrasty look that Pixel has, see, look at this small flower photo. If you zoom right in, the sharpness, the detail, everything is just... Mwah. Now, I also took some low light photos and I was like, wow. See, smartphone camera are now 50% software and 50% hardware. And Google Pixels have nailed camera software since the start. So it is easily one of the best cameras. Now I saw in portrait mode, the edge detection was a bit average. Like if you see in this photo, Manu's specs is blurred. And even in other portrait mode photos, it clips out the ears a little bit. The ultra wide angle photos are also good. But see here, have a look. Like I've seen with the Pixel, if you open the camera app, the viewfinder looks grainy. See here, there is noise. But once you click the photo, and the photo is processed, the magic is done. There is no noise and see the sharpness. And in videos, you can record up to 4K 60fps and as you can see, the stabilization in 4K 60fps is really good. And you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera and you can only record up to 1080p 30fps, like it's 2022, why no 4K recording? And the photos turn out to be decent, the skin tone is good, but overall it's an average selfie camera. Now, the performance is another interesting part. You get the Tensor processor and it is the same processor you get in Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage for the base variant. We have the base variant. Now, in case you guys don't know, Google, since Pixel 6, now designs their own processor. It is made by Samsung. But when a company designs their own processor, they make it better for the OS. And we guys asked you on Twitter about the Pixel 6a and a lot of you guys asked about the smoothness of the OS and display. Like, although it is 60 hertz, in my one to two days of usage, I found it very smooth. And of course, if you're coming from a 120 hertz display, you will notice the difference. Like when you bring down the notification shade, when you swipe up, when you scroll. But overall, the UI is smooth in my one to two days of usage. Now performance, well, we can't play BGMI today because BGMI is once again banned in India. But we have Apex Legends. So you can go smooth graphics, 60 FPS, and maximum you can go extreme HD graphics and 40 FPS. We'll play at smooth, 60 FPS. Let's go. Oh. Now, one thing I noticed is there's no dedicated game mode. So whenever you are gaming, the brightness goes up and down. So you will have to disable auto brightness when you game. Now, if you play at medium settings, the phone doesn't overheat at all and the gameplay is good. Performance is something which is same as the Pixel 6. Now, so far, the phone looks really good, right? 
right? Well, software is where the problem starts. Now you get clean Android 12 and Google will provide three years of software updates and five years of security update. But a lot of people are now complaining about the device getting unlocked with an unregistered fingerprint. So now on our device, I've registered my right thumb. And as you can see, my phone unlocks with my right thumb perfectly. Does it, no issues. And you can see that there is only one thumb registered. But now, here, let me try it with my left thumb. Three, two, one. It unlocks. You wanna try again? Unlocks. It unlocks with the right thumb. It unlocks with the left thumb. And this is unedited. This didn't happen to me yesterday when I registered on the phone. And after one full day, now I can even unlock with my left thumb. And the fingerprint scanner is slow. And not just that, you get a 6.1 inch 60 hertz OLED display and a lot of you guys asked about the display quality. And here, let me show you something in low light. Now see, the display has green tint at the bottom. Now in case you don't know, all AMOLEDs have tint issues at very low brightness. But see here, the brightness is about 20-30%. It's not even that low. Now, this is not the display quality I'm expecting at 4399. Now you get really good stereo speakers. I found it loud. It has that clarity, not that bass, but it is loud. Even in outdoor conditions, the display is bright enough. You get Widevine L1, so you can play 1080p videos on both Netflix and Prime Video. Also, you get HDR on both Netflix and YouTube. By the way, you get Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. Rest you get 4410 mAh battery and I haven't used the phone enough to comment on the battery. But one weird thing, the phone supports 18W fast charging. I kept the phone to charge overnight. It started charging, but when I got up, it was like 29%. Weird, but could be just one incident. You get all the important sensors, NFC, and it is also IP67 water resistant, so you can dip it in water. And about 5G bands, Google hasn't said anything exactly, but you get 19 5G bands in US, not sure about India. Now, if you're thinking, Pratik, Pixel 6 is also available on Amazon for 45,940. Why shouldn't I buy this? Okay, you can, but three things you should know before importing or buying Pixel 6 in India. Number one, there's no doubt that Pixel 6 is a better phone than the Pixel 6a. You get a better 90Hz display, better camera, faster 30 watt charging. But number two, you don't get any warranty in India. There's only one Google service center in India and we spoke to them. They don't service or repair the Google Pixel 6. So you will have to depend on a third party to fix your phone. Number three, you don't get 4G plus in India. Pixel 6 doesn't support 4G plus in India. Now, if you're okay with these three points, you can of course buy the Pixel 6 in India. Here's a good video if you're trying to import or buy Pixel 6 in India. Now, the whole problem with Google Pixel 6a is it is priced at 4399 in India. If you even add up that 4,000 discount on Axis Flipkart card and 2,000 cashback, if you have that card, it comes down to 37999. At that price, it should be a premium phone and I would expect to have that premium experience. But the display isn't up to the mark, the fingerprint sensor has its own issues. It's definitely not the most premium phone in this price range. There is nothing Phone 1 and Samsung A73, either far cheaper or far better. And even if you ignore all of that and be like, Pratik, I want a Pixel phone because of its good software and camera. Then listen carefully. Pixel 4a was launched in India for 31999 Not a lot of people bought at that time. But just four to five months after the launch, the prices started falling. A lot of people bought it in sale when the price came down to 25999 And even with exchanges, you guys bought it for under 20000 That was a justified price for Pixel 4a. Even if this Pixel 6a was priced under 35,000 or with offers and all around, you get it at 32,000, it would have been a very easy recommendation. But considering it will definitely go on sale in the next couple of months, at this price, first impressions, there are better options. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video.